No one knows this. This will be the first time anyone ever hears of me being vulnerable or me feeling weak. I would have never shown it. The first sport that I ever played was basketball. I moved on to basketball coaching and I thought, why not do personal training? I've been a personal trainer for almost 10 years now and I'm a women's only trainer. I am currently responsible for looking after 11.8 million women on Instagram and 40 million women across all social media channels. When I started personal training and when I started working with Toby, it was just naturally, it was just like, let's help women. I had a bit of a following um, on Instagram. People were writing in saying, could you please help us? Could you please write us a guide? How are your clients getting these sort of transformations? And so we sort of sat down together and Toby was like, I think we should do this program. I said, I don't think it's a good idea because I don't feel like anyone would be interested in it. And I said, we shouldn't do it. So I was the one that shut the program down and Toby was like, let's just give it a go. So we built a website by ourselves and we uploaded this PDF on there, which was 12 weeks of BBG, which is Bikini Bodyguard. And it went crazy. And people started sending in their transformations and it just authentically and very organically just grew and grew and grew and the community just grew and grew and grew and we just kept highlighting their success and I think that's what I think made BBG so successful. Highlighting the success of other women, not highlighting my success. I never looked at like how many people were purchasing the program and thought, oh my God, this is amazing. I just was just like, I can't believe people are actually interested in what we do. And their need wasn't until we actually went around and toured that I really realised that there was such a need because no one out there was willing to cut out half the market. Why wouldn't you make a program for men? Everyone was saying, why wouldn't you just make a program for men and tailor it for women? There's more men that work out than women. That's what it was back in the day. So I just said, you know, if we're going to do this, there has to be strict rules. And Toby's like, well, let's sit down. Let's talk about what, what you want. So it was things like, I was like, I just don't want to like sexualize myself to sell a product. And he was like, absolutely. I don't want to say that I believe in something that I don't. I, I don't want to venture off into other areas that I'm not an expert in. I want to stay in my lane. I want to practice what I preach. I, I want to be a personal trainer. That's what I want to be. So I set these like hard rules and we've stuck to them ever since. Three, two, one. Well done guys. If Instagram went and Facebook went and all the platforms went and I was left with what I have now, which is my clients, me in the gym, I would be so happy with that. That's what I do, that's what I love. I honestly just wanted to help women walk into the gym and feel confident and not to be scared. And when women would come to me and they would say, yeah, I'm so scared, like, I'm honestly scared, I don't know what I'm doing. I used to be like, why? Like, don't be scared. And then I thought, you know, I've got to do something. So that's, that's where my passion and where my drive came from. I just wanted women to just change their mindset. I just wanted them to stop walking into the gym with a photo of a celebrity sitting down and saying, I want to look like her. Every body, body being your body, is different. My body is different to your body. My body is different to anyone who's watching this. I still, to this day, am still explaining what I do to my grandpa who continually asks me, what do you do? What is your job? I don't know. He said in Greek, he says, I just don't know how to explain it to people. I don't know. What do you do? I said, say personal trainer. And he's like, well, why are you in the newspaper if you're just a personal trainer? <laughs> like, it's nothing bad. I'm just, <laughs> yeah, so it's, um, it's interesting. It was not a breeze. It was morning sickness reflux, restless leg, sciatic nerve pain, and then I gave birth. The whole pregnancy, safe to say, I did not enjoy it. It was tough. 